Let me ask you point blank. What do you think Donald Trump's legacy is going to be? When your son or maybe uh, his child or grand, your grandkids or whatever, when they look him up in a history book, what is Donald Trump going to be to everybody in the eyes of history? You see, I can, what I can say now, and I can say it because of past presidents, that people would get offended by. I think what they're going to look at is they're going to look at, there's going to be two ways you can look at Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump's a trendsetter. Okay. I think he's, I, I, I want to say he's a trendsetter. The reason why I'm calling him a trendsetter um, is because I think that he's setting a president, president for other presidents. So he's setting a bar for other presidents. I um, so, think his legacy is going to be the worst president in the history of the worst president ever. The not worst a chance. president ever. What do you not mean? Not a chance. What do you mean not a chance? Because what I think is going to happen is I think that Biden's going to come in and Biden's going to be worse. Biden's going to get us into World War III. I, I don't think that you, you can don't, be you worse. Don't. I don't think that you could be worse than a president that was impeached twice, a president that called the virus a hoax and then got it himself, a president that, I mean, all the outlandish things that he said in Twitter are going to be printed in textbooks. It can't get worse than that. He's going to be the worst. He's going to be seen as the worst president of all time. He, their economy is strong. Okay. Their economy is strong. What I think, I think that I think his 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 talk towards human beings, like the way he talks to like Rosie O'Donnell and like Biden and all these guys, Crooked Hillary, he makes up these little troll nicknames. That's gonna make him look like an idiot. I don't know, man. He's only had four years, so really, they're gonna look at it and say that. Like I look back at Reagan's presidency. Reagan is known as a good president. I don't think he's as good as people said he was. George. Uh, Bush, like the original one, he only got four years. He was a bit of a line. Well, he came in and fought Iraq. Then what happened? The Clintons. There was there was the Oral Office, Oval or Oval Office. So it came out that Clinton was an asshole after the fact. So presidency for Clinton, good. After the fact, not really good because you used your power to get women, right? And he was and then still we president had, when he, he was still president when he did that. No, I know. But then you look back at it and you say that. Bad Clinton should be impeached, should be canceled as well, but they don't because it's the left. We understand that. Then no, I George, think, I, I don't think that. I think uh, I think if if that had happened today, heads would have rolled even more than than back then. So you bring up an interesting point: is is uh, George Bush? How do you think? One. How do you? No, no, the second George Bush. Oh, yeah, with George W. George W. Who do you think George is w. worse, George W. or Trump? Oh, uh, Trump. Obviously. You think Trump is worse? Than George W? Absolutely. That's interesting. Absolutely. Um, um and so there's an interesting point that a lot of, that I heard actually, it was a young Turks, a young Turks host made this point, and I hadn't quite thought of it, is um at the very least, Donald Trump is not this is this person had said for a long time, at the very least, Donald Trump is not as bad as George Bush, George Bush George W. Bush, because George W. Bush started all these wars where a lot of people got killed and then the pandemic happened and he killed just as many people because of it. Wow. <laughs> so the thing, the, the, the thing that I think we'll, we'll look back at and remember about Trump the most, his, his battle with the media, the media, the media didn't really give him a good shake. I, I'm not a fan of CNN, never have been, but I'm not a fan of Fox either. Like I wish there was a, I wish there was a down the middle thing. You'll have to ask five years down the road. Once Biden and Kamala are done, and we look back at it, we'll see what happens but with Trump. the thing is, is we're going to look back, like, I'm not talking the day, like, well, they're president, how are we going to look at Donald Trump? I mean, in 50 years, how are we going to look at him? I don't think we're going to remember Biden. I don't think he's going to be a very significant president, honestly. Uh, he may oh. pack He may pack the courts, which which might be not great. I don't. I don't want that to happen. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I think, I think Biden's going to be a very middle road president and, uh, whatever. Um, I, I think he's a bridge. Uh, so I thought, I thought, I thought Trump was a bridge president. Mm -hmm. Then the left really fucked this up and they double bridged it. I'm like, guys, you need to have an eight year president. I didn't think Don, yeah, I didn't think Donald Trump was going to get it the first time, let alone get eight years, getting four years. It was, it was good. Like you guys just couldn't, they just played dirty. I think pool. it was good. I think it was bad. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, 
I stand by my point. I think Donald Trump will be remembered as the worst president of all time. No, I don't think so. Impeached twice. Says, says a virus. That, that's really it. Is Says a virus that is calls a virus a hoax and then gets it. Gets okay, bro. It. Okay, so then they, they said that if Donald Trump, before Donald Trump got the little China flu, oh, they no. said they said they said that if he got it, he would die. What did he do? The guy went and found the China flu, got the China flu, then tweeted it was a little China flu coming back, baby, and then came back. That's a fighting president right there. Okay, but he also had a whole bunch of experimental uh, drugs that the average person that can't is a, get. That well, is a, and let's not add, let's not let's not forget that he's also trying to cut Obamacare. He's trying to get rid of that so that universal Obama- health care will not be available for everyone, despite the fact that he can afford whatever coverage he needs. Obamacare, what's that? Twenty six million people it affects. Well, universal health care. For only 26 million people. Why are we even talking about this? Move on. Okay. But anyways, dude, it's only 26 million people. For Canada, that's for 20 for Canada, that's a lot. For the states, no, no, no. This is, here's, here's, this no, is a guy who's trying to destroy universal health care during a pandemic, John Mark. And then he gets it and he cures it with all this experimental research. Dude, experimental and then he gets impeached twice. Dude, experimental drugs that nobody Everybody was afraid to try. President's like, I'll be the leader. Boom. Put a little sauce in me, baby. Right there, Sputnik V. Putin hooked him up with the cure. Back then, he's ready to go. But yet again, a president that is willing to bleed by taking experimental drugs, and you're sitting here with your Callahan auto parts shirt on, That's and right. you ain't talking shit from Sandusky, Ohio. That's right. And, and exactly it. You're a you're a union man, but you don't love Trump. I don't understand this. Is that are you? I don't know if they were in a union. I don't think they were in a union. I think the whole point of that movie was the guy that ran the company saved the company. It's uh, a it's a documentary. Okay, you have the shirt. It's a documentary. We don't need to is. talk about it. it is. Adam, here's the thing. I don't. Trump will probably go down in your eyes as the worst president in our lifetime. I think he'll be seen as the worst president. Not just in my eyes, and I think in everyone's lifetime. Or so They're going to go, listen, this is how I feel. This is how I feel. It's like this Lord of the Flies backwards thing where, like, the forefathers created these rules, and then the children of their children of their children sort of created this Lord of the Fly society where they're in charge and all the adults have left the room and a reality TV star became president. And if they walk back in and they go, oh, there's an adult in the room once again, they go, Donald Trump is president. Who let Donald Trump be president? And they go, well, it's the rules you made. You don't let Donald Trump be president. That's no. Well, that's not written in the rules. Well, neither is jumping off of the, the roof. I never wrote a rule. The adult says before you, I never wrote a rule. You don't jump off the roof. Well, it's not the rules. You don't let Donald Trump be fucking president. <laughs> I wish we were on two screens for that, you motherfucker, because they would have been able to see me dying over here. That's a great, that's a great '80s wrestling analogy. That really, 80s honestly, wrestling. I don't know about that. That looked like that man because your face was Ultimate Warrior red, and you were writing out, yes, screaming about anything. Ah, yeah, no, but like I was saying, though, like I don't think he'll go down in, in our in our lifetime. I think he will go down as the worst president, but I don't think he'll go down as the worst president of all time. Well, I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on that. What the fuck are you going to say? No, I, I honestly, man, I, it's too hard. To, it's too hard to say what's going to happen because I think what happens with presidents and their legacies is the before and after. So Tracker had brought up a point that I was hoping you would bring up because I knew you'd be on Trump's side. Um, Trump won a peace prize. That's fine. But uh, whatever. But uh, he also was the first president to, well, first president in a long time to not start a new war. Well, he technically did. He's got a civil war going on right now. Well, there you so go. I didn't Boom. Wanna, I didn't All right. Say. We've negated that point. Thank you very much. No, no. But to, to, to be honest with you, though, like the civil war has been happening for four years. That was just a warm up to the civil war. I the didn't civil even think war. Of that. You can pile that on. He's, he's no, no, no. The civil the war. Country. The civil. No, the civil war is going to is going to start. Uh, when is when's the inauguration? Saturday. Uh, it's the 20th. I don't know what day that is. It's got to be pretty close. 
What's today? Today's the 18th. So two days from now. Wednesday. So that's when civil war starts. Okay. Well, there you I'm go. Let's add that. that to another reason why Donald Trump is a terrible president.